Here's another experiment that's all about balance. Take a pencil and try to balance it on its tip. Doesn't work that well, does it? But if you take a pencil and stick it through a circle of cardboard and try it again, it works. The reason it's because this circle is spinning, it creates a force that keeps the pencil standing up. As long as the circle is spinning fast enough, it counteracts the force of gravity. Because of the conservation of angular momentum, the conservation of angular momentum, the conservation of angular momentum. Science Max presents Ways to Sound Super Smart. A top will balance when it's spinning. It works because it spins. But why say it that way when you can impress your friends and all the adults you know by saying conservation of angular momentum? Why does a top spin? Because of the conservation of angular momentum. Between you and me, we know that it boils down to the fact that it's spinning. But conservation of angular momentum is how you say it if you're studying physics in university. Just remember to thank Science Max when you impress everyone by telling them a top balances because of, say it with me, the conservation of angular momentum. Now, let's max this out. Gyroscopic force is pretty amazing. Because this bike tire is spinning, it's hard for me to move it. But it's really hard to see how much it resists a change in orientation unless I do this. <laughs> it looks like it's defying gravity. But really, it's because the amount of force needed to change its orientation is more than the force of gravity pulling down on it. It won't last forever, only as long as the bike tire keeps spinning. But you got to admit, it's pretty cool science. Oops, uh, an egg. Now you might think of eggs as kind of flimsy and they do break pretty easily, but eggs, <laughs> eggs are actually stronger than you think. It's because they're, well, egg shaped. You see, the top of the egg is like a little bit of an arch and the bottom of the egg is also like an arch and arches distribute the weight just like they do in a bridge. Here's how you can experiment with how strong eggs are. First, you want to get a pair of gloves to protect your hands from the shell just in case anything goes wrong. You should also tell an adult that you're doing this experiment because if it does go wrong, you're going to have some mess to explain. And also, you should probably put on some safety glasses. Now here's what you do. Take your egg and carefully put it in your palm just like that. And put it against your other palm and you're gonna push in directly on either side of the egg. Start pushing harder and harder. You can even lace your fingers and press even harder. And if you do it right, the egg won't break. Pretty amazing, right? So just how much weight does an egg hold? Can one egg support my entire weight. Let's find out. I'm gonna lift my weight up like this and lower myself down. And no, cannot hold my weight. Can my weight be supported by two eggs? Oh, nope. Phil's weight, four eggs. <laughs> Oh, I thought they were gonna do it. Nope. My weight on eight eggs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> My weight can be supported by just eight eggs. Science! <laughs> Ooh, careful. Magnetic putty in 60 seconds. This is magnetic putty. Thank you. This
This is magnetic putty. Ten take. This is magnetic putty. Twenty-six. This is magnetic putty. Two thousand six hundred and thirty-five. This is dance. This is magnetic putty. I can't count this high. This is magnetic putty. <laughs> magnetic. Oh. oh, it's not a magnet. It's attracted to magnets. Oh, that makes more sense. This is magnetic putty, and this is a magnet. The putty is made of polymers, which means it can flow over itself. It also has lots of iron filings in it, which is why it's attracted to magnets. This is what happens over several minutes. And there you go, magnetic putty. Okay, so where were we? Oh yeah. Three, two, one, yeah! And remember, don't try this at home. Ah! <laughs> slime! Sarah and I enjoyed our maxed out tub of slime. <laughs> so let's recap. Slime is made of polymers. Polymers come in a lot of different forms. It's all about long chains of molecules. And none are more fun to swim in than slime. Do I have slime here? Ooh, yeah, definitely. Slime here! Oh, slime! <laughs> well, there you go. Science Max experiments at large. Polymers! Slime! Yeah! High fives. Yeah! Slimey high five. Yeah. Better sandcastles in 80 seconds. Building sandcastles is fun, but you can't use dry sand because it doesn't stay up very well. You have to use wet sand. But even if you use wet sand, it doesn't hold a lot of weight. But if you use sand with the power of science, it does hold the weight. Dry sand, wet sand, science sand. Here's what's going on. Say these ping pong balls are grains of sand. When they're dry, they don't hold together very well. That's why you can't build a sand castle out of dry sand. But if you get the sand wet a little bit, the grains of sand will hold together a little better because of the surface tension of the water. That's why it's easier to build a sand castle with wet sand, but they still won't hold much weight. But if you add something that creates even more friction between the grains of sand, like say, this sandpaper, it will hold the weight. So here's what you do. Take window screen and cut it into circles. Make sure you get an adult's permission first, okay? Deal? Put in a layer of sand, pack it down, and put in a circle of window screen. And a layer of sand, pack it down, circle of window screen. Then, you guessed it, layer of sand, pack it down, circle of window screen. The window screens are gonna add more friction between the grains of sand and will make your sand castle strong. Strong with the power of science. And then uh, you can put lots of weight on it. And there you go. Sand with the power of science. <laughs> okay, I had to max it out. Let's see how strong science sand really is. Huh? <laughs> science! 